Hey, hey, welcome in. Today we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. Editing Lou here. You probably have no idea who I am. I was the person on the channel doing the videos way back before we got most of our subscribers. So my name is Luann. So we have a series on our channel where we get people to come in and talk about their thoughts and ideas on the diff 16 different personality types. This is my sister Elaine and she has not done one of those videos. So we are going to do that and then we are also going to be doing our makeup while we do this. So I'm going to be coaching her so that she can know which type she's talking about. <laughs> Let's hope we do a good job on our makeup. Okay, so <laughs> like, let's my start. Ooh, you know what? This will be a fun one. Are you comfortable starting with my two types, whatever type you think I might be, um, ESFP or ESTP? Mm -hmm. Do you know the difference between the two? Um, ESFP is Carrie, ESTP is Katie, or ESFP is Jack. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, how honest. You're gonna be you honest is really good. Okay. More honest is better. So ESTP are hard for me to handle because in my experience they require a lot of attention and a lot of energy. And which I don't unlike the ESFP? Well, I think that because I think that you're an ESFP and because I have been had you around, I kind of know how to interact with mm -hmm. ESFPs, whereas like an e ESTP, I've not had much experience with, so like they're, they're overwhelming for me sometimes. Okay, so you know how aggressive and um, pushy I am with my, if you think I have second function FI, which also, if you guys know Dave and Shan's uh, system, I love their system and I'm gonna be referring to that a little bit, but if I have FI or I have TI, I have masculine introverted decider as my second function. So it could be because you, Elaine is an ISFP, so it could be because you have masculine FI that you understand masculine FI. <laughs> Whereas masculine TI, you're like, sit down. <laughs> I don't know if that's the case. But. I mean, I like them. It's just, I don't know how to interact with like the energy. Yeah. So, um, with, I watch you and Jack interact and it seems like you guys have a lot of fun together. What would you say that, do you have more observations or interesting to, things to say about ESFPs? Well, like I can, I can give it back to you guys. So like, if you piss me off, I can be like, Hey, <laughs> sit down. <laughs> Actually like I, say that, yeah. Yeah, like. <clears throat> yeah, and Jack will just laugh about it, like if you push and shove him back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like it's an actual like, like yesterday he came to like Margie. I don't know if you can put this in the video, but like he came to Margie and Phil's house, and he like he was like, why don't you just call us and tell us that you wanted to ride with us? And like bopped me on my head and was like, I'm trying to activate some brain cells. So like it's like a literal like fight thing. Like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and you do love that. I N T J. So your friend Cassie, Cassidy um, is either an ENTJ or an INTJ, and Mindy is an INTJ. I love them. <laughs> you really do. And Jolene is an ENTJ. Yeah. We'll just talk about both of them at the same time. So, I mean, take INTJ. Mindy is for sure an INTJ, and, and, or I would be pretty confident. And then um, Jolene is an ENTJ. So, yeah, take it from there. Um, so, like, they are the epitome of, like, having their shit together, but at the same time, like, they also love to, like, take care and be in charge, like, I don't know, I just love that type, and somehow, I just, like, our types gravitate towards one another. It's true. <laughs> Elaine does, so, can I make a fun observation? Yes, yeah, go ahead. So, you don't stereotypically have your shit together. I mean, yeah. obviously you graduated college, but like you bibbity bop through life, <laughs> seemingly. I feel like you're more strategic than you want people to think, but, but these types seem to just adore you and understand where you're coming from. Yeah, um, I, don't, I don't understand why, but I feel really lucky that they do because I love being around them. I love it. <laughs> Is that all you had to say about them? They got their shit together? That's your view on? Well, like, and they just, like, like, Mindy, she loves cute little things and, like, 
so does Cassidy and they love to spoil the people they love like that's their number one thing in life like Cassidy will spend like copious amounts of money for her little brother because she just adores her little brother brother and like she gets me gifts for every single one of my birthdays and like Christmas and like she just spoils the people who she's around yeah and Elaine doesn't often I mean Elaine reciprocates in other ways but like she doesn't return the gift giving very much I like I'm just terrible at it I I know she would say differently but like I she's good at it too like she can just read what I need or want and mm -hmm. like I don't know oh yeah she's amazing I They're, agree I I agree those types are 100% underrated if you get into their good side Let's go to ISFP. Like, how do you think you live life different than other types? I just do 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 <laughs> at my own rate and pace. We're a weird one. I like us okay. I don't know that I've ever run it. Mom! Yeah, mom's an ISFP. Do you, I love do you her. think you and mom are the same type? Would you say that? I think so. You know what? Fun thing is, when Elaine moved in with me, she wasn't so into the personalities thing, and I was trying to explain to her what type I thought she was, and I was like, what type would you think Billie Eilish is? And she was like, um, I kind of think she might be my type. Dude, it's crazy how similar they are. I love watching Except Billie Eilish. Billie Eilish is much more successful, much more talented, which hopefully one day. Yeah. Okay, let's go to ISFJ, which is Joas's type. Oh, I love them. Everyone does. <laughs> How can you not? They're super organized and super like stick with the schedule, get everything organized. Like managerial type. Like I feel like Joas would be a badass manager. Mm -hmm. Like when he teaches me things, he's very step by step and like mm -hmm. methodical. So mm -hmm. like it would be easy for me to like take that and teach somebody else just based on his system. So he's just like, but he's so sweet. Mm -hmm. He gets along with anybody. He really does. He is so incredibly sweet. Oh, I just adore him. Let's do E E N F P and E N T P. So my sister Renee is an ENTP jumper type or an ENFP jumper type. She loves to argue. She loves to argue. Well, I don't know that she loves to argue, but she's just real fucking good at it. Mm -hmm. And she's very, I don't, I don't know. She's very specific about the people she argues with. And then if she argues with you, like she'll argue with you all the time. <laughs> so it's like, uh, if you love Renee, that's like a thing of flattery. If she loves you enough to argue with you, you, you in? <laughs> it's a rough ride when you get her going. <laughs> but, I mean, she, so we grew up in like the sibling line right beside each other. And like, what's the age difference between you two? Like a year and a half. And like, so we've been like best friends since birth. Well, minus the year and a half. But I don't know. I like. <clears throat> It's been really fun growing up with her because she keeps me like in the real world a lot of times like she's not afraid to be like you're being ridiculous like but you probably keep her in the real world in some way too because I feel like she's not I mean she is in the real world but she's not like se in the real world you know what I mean not like Jack and I in the real world you know what I mean kind of but I think maybe this is one of those things I feel like this is me topping out, but like, are we, like, is it too close? Like, have I just been too, like, up each other's ass all of our lives to have, like, an actual idea? Oh, could be. We were talking about that. Tell us what you think about this idea. So, if you're too close to someone, isn't it harder to type that person than if you're a little more distance from them? Like, Elaine and I, even though she's been living with me for, um... Six months! Six months now. <laughs> Um, I feel like I know her, but I know her uh, still at a distance. It's still a distance relationship. Whereas like with my husband, um, I feel like I know him real up close and I think it's harder for me to type him accurately. And then also my friends that I'm, two other people in my life that I'm, you know, extremely intimate with. And then with her, with Renee, you know, it might be harder for her to see Renee objectively because she knows you know so much more about Renee. 
And also, like, it's my way of interacting with Renee. Like, we've, like, grown up together. We know everything about, like, mm -hmm. one another. So it's, like, we know how to dance to dance with one another. Mm -hmm. So it's not, like, we have to, like, break through the walls of who we've been without, like, Mm -hmm. I don't know if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like it. Okay, so that's co covered ENTP and ENFP. Um, let's go to ISTP and we can do ISTP and INTP together, or you can separate them. Carlton, INTP, uh, Mark, ISTP. <laughs> uh, so Mark, I mean, I freaking adore him, but like all of our lives, like, we can't sit at the kitchen table beside one another because we'll just, like, fight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it's not that they're that close in age. So when they were growing up, Mark is one of the older kids and Elaine is one of the younger kids. And still, just physically, they attack each other every time they're around each other, even though they're both grown-ups now. And they were, you know, it was a big age difference when they were younger. They just are physically aggressive. But it's not like we're do it in anger. Like if, no. if we're actually mad at each other, then we'll yell at each other. But like, mm -hmm. this is like a play fight, but it's annoying for everybody around us. Well, I just think that everyone just doesn't necessarily understand, <laughs> including me. I'm like, why wouldn't you just want to be friends and listen to the conversation for a hot second, man? Because it's fun. Like, <laughs> I can't explain it, but just like, I don't know. It's, it's like a, a way of showing our affection for one another, I think. Like... We, and Elaine and I were also talking about out of all the siblings, Mark and Elaine are the two siblings that have and do fight with everybody. Other than Amy. Have you ever had a fight with Amy? I don't know that I've ever had a fight with Amy. Well, yeah, when I was little, when she was like, but I was little, little, and she was like, she was obviously the boss of me. So like, oh, can I make a fun little observation about you? I don't know if this is universal to all ENFPs, but... Or INFPs. INFPs. Dear Lord. Yeah. I don't. Elaine does not like being told what to do. She doesn't necessarily want to tell other people what to do, but she sure as hell does not want other people telling her what to do. No, I sure don't. So when she was little and we ran our household, we grew up in a in a mildly dysfunctional family. So sometimes the Older kids were, not sometimes, always, the older kids were in charge of the younger kids. And so the younger kids had to do, if a sibling came, oh, did you have to listen to what Joe was said? No. Okay. Well, I didn't. <laughs> anyway, siblings had, were bossing siblings around. And poor Elaine had so many older siblings telling her what to do. And she could not tell anyone what to do. <laughs> it was literally terrible. <laughs> but... It's funny because you know how we talk about how Joe's is so sweet? Mm -hmm. Him and I used to fight when we were growing up. Really? Yeah. We oh, I can't imagine Joe is fighting with anyone. Well, he sure fought with me. <laughs> huh. I mean, we're like the the best of friends, but like, okay, not the... Well, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't mm -hmm. consider us the best I would of friends. too. Siblings are so much fun. I feel like siblings are so good for personal development. <laughs> they really are. <laughs> All right, so let's go to... Um, so Amy, ESFJ. Oh, so sweet. She's like the mom of the types, I think. Like, she loves to be needed. She loves to take care of you. She like, she loves to know every, like everything, all the things. Like, so incredibly smart, so incredibly sweet. Like the whole package. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. What else can I say about her? I don't know. Okay, ISTJ. I don't know that we know any mutual ISTJs. INTP. INFP. Yeah. INFP. So that's Roxy's type. Do you know much about INFPs? I love them so much. Do you know any other INFPs? Arthur. Oh, yeah. Okay, tell me more about this type. Um, They're so, like, incredibly sweet. They're, like, incredibly romantic. Yeah. Like... It's like the ISFP, like we exist in our own little world, but like <clears throat> they're more like poetry, whereas like ISFPs are more like physical art, I think. I agree. Yeah, like, that's a good way of explaining it. Not to say that the other type, like you can't, you can't like, I don't know, diverge and do both as like an INFP or an ISFP, but like it's just 
like that's how I see them is like ones in like the ab abstract world and ones like in the physical. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm I don't know. Yeah. But they're so sweet. They love to do things for other people. Like they love to be needed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they are incredibly sweet. Okay. So let me go down the list. ENFJ. Oh, you haven't covered that one. Who's ENFJ? Casey. It's similar to Amy in the function set in the function stack in that their axis is their first function is extroverted feeling and their uh, last function is introverted thinking or their demon function. Are they more traditional? Like I can't I can't put my finger on it, but like I feel like that type when they run into me they're like what the hell is this? <laughs> Like, so I, I do don't you have, have that feeling because we haven't come across any other type where you say that do you have that feeling about very many people? No, I feel like for the most part people just like are like, you know, you're weird, but like I'm into it <laughs> But mm -hmm. like for some reason, I don't think that the they trust me like Interesting. I don't know. Huh. I mean, I adore Casey. I think she's so sweet and she's such a good mom and she's like I'm so happy that she became a part of our family because I think like that she adds so much like she's an she incredible really cook She's artistic like she does. She's cakes. kind. She's kind. Yeah, she's like the whole package, too mm -hmm. It's just she doesn't like I don't think that she's that big of a fan of like maybe not big a fan of me, but like She just doesn't understand you Well, like very well I don't know because like it's like it's one of those things too where like her and I have been very honest with one of, like honest with one another and like we can like have conversations in depth conversations but it's just one of the yeah like I don't I just don't think that she trusts me and it might not be my type it might just be me but like mm -hmm. that's what I pick up from her hmm. at least. Interesting. I mean I feel like that's just something that happens in life you're always gonna have people that just don't get you and I feel like that's another thing I know that I preach this to all the siblings all the time but I think that that's one thing that we have that is so beneficial to us is that we have to interact with so many different people and so many different even if you even if you don't understand somebody you're going to be in somebody's life for a real long time and both of you know that you want to get along and hang out and have fun and so it's going to be mutually beneficial for you guys to figure your shit out mm-hmm I'm gonna stop cursing yesterday I loved how I did my eyes today they aren't coming together I don't understand my eyes this eye is smaller than this eye but it's not can I see I think this one needs like a facelift cuz so does mine yeah maybe that's does. what it is when they put in my Botox they asked me if they can make my eyebrows go like this I was like no thanks no can I see it again yeah, like I feel like this side's more ready for life and this side's like a doop 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 doop. <laughs> <laughs> that is exactly what's happening on my face. My face does the same thing. I think it's so funny that uh, the two people that know me really well on the channel think I'm an ENFP. ENFP. ESFP. Dear Lord. I'm like not even one glass in. Who, who knows you really well on the channel? You and Nathan, and he stated his opinion on me being an ENFP. ESF? Fuck, I'm not gonna say the types anymore. You know what Luann likes to do? <laughs> exactly what you guys just witnessed. Do, do you like mix it around in your mind, or does it just slip out? Like, do you think it's. No, right? you know what I do? Uh, this looks even worse on camera. <laughs> yes, it does. Can I like fix it for now you go on? Yeah. I can just wash it off too. But that would be not so fun. Okay, go ahead. What do I do like to do? Oh, just that. Like, I think you think something and it just comes out wrong. Dude, I'm severely dyslexic. Oh, is that why? Mm-hmm. Did I already tell you the story? So I'm dyslexic as well. And when I was in first grade, I wrote my name completely backwards. And everybody, there were nine people in our class and everybody got a, a smiley face, like a sticker. Except me. <laughs> So I went to the bathroom and just sobbed. Dude, Elaine has so many stories about this kind of thing. And I did the same. I mean, I was the same way when I was in first grade. I was just getting terrible grades. But I don't remember any. The only reason I remember my bad grades is because I almost failed second grade. Because I wasn't doing my schoolwork. And then also, 
um, I had my books to look back on and my sister went through my books and she was like, she made comments on how I did my work, which is the only reason I remember. I wasn't offended, like E. Oh yeah, I cried. Amy was so Amy, our older sister, which we've spoken about. She was my our or she was my teacher. We grew up Amish, so we were in a two-room schoolhouse, and we also graduated after eighth grade. So that explains Amy being her teacher. Yeah, Amy was my teacher. Anyways, she would come to the bathroom. There was like multiple like occasions where she would come to the bathroom and just like hand me paper towels as I sobbed and like hug me. <laughs> <laughs> That's so sweet. And I remember when Carrie was born. What what personality type? Is my breath just terrible? No, it's mine. No. But what kind of personality type is Carrie? Well, I think she m might possibly be um, the same personality type as Nathan. Oh, fascinating. Well, I adore her. I mean, not that I don't adore Nathan. I just don't know him very well. I don't know. I don't know what type um, Carrie is. She could possibly be Mark's type, ISTP, um, or she could be what jumper type, or she could be an INFJ jumper type. This is much more subtle. Do you like subtle? Go for it. How much do you think, like, if I, if we had an organic meeting, okay, not to say that siblings aren't organic, but like if we organically just had met these people without, like, Oh, that's a good question. How much do you think, like, would I have more person, like, I mean, I wouldn't say it on video if I liked a personality type or not, because, you know, I know people <laughs> with almost every, but, like, how much more opinionated do you think we would be, or do you think we'd be less opinionated of the types? I mean, I think that having siblings makes you, like, seeing people in such a, so many different ways. Overall, unfiltered. Yeah gives you insight that nobody is I mean we all struggle with our own things mm -hmm. and it's so much fun because that Elaine and I have different perceptions of different siblings um if I'm overreacting to something she can be like <laughs> you're just overreacting whereas if you didn't have you know yeah I feel like it's the opposite a lot though like I feel like you are much more like calm down you have your problems too <laughs> yeah I mean yeah but I mean I'm just saying yeah yeah I mean I'm older like how much of that comes from just like the extra eight years of life experience that I have from you than you do but I mean I'm just a chill person but I'm saying like siblings um you've helped me understand relationships that I had a hard time with that you have a good time in, and you're like well I just feel like you know, this is how I see it from my side. And because I respect you and I know that you care about me, I mean, just that network of people, it makes it, you can't just count somebody out. out yeah. Whereas, like, if you just meet somebody and you're like, <laughs> what That's is funny. going on with you? Yeah. <laughs> then you can count them out and you never have to get to know them. Mm -hmm. It is nice that we have all these siblings. Should I just start completely over with my... You don't like them still? I mean, I like it fine, but it looks like a lot of makeup stacked on top of each other with no clear idea. I mean, I know that my plan earlier wasn't fantastic. Yeah. Well, yeah, if you want to start all the way over. Well, Elaine, I really... Oh, you know what we need to do, though? We'll do the outro when our makeup is finished, and we look fantastic. <laughs> we look fantastic, which would... It might be me. If you're smelling something, it might be me. No. I mean, I felt like it smelled like rain. Let's turn the camera. Come join me, E. Uh, no! Alrighty, well, thank you so much for being here. Oh, no problem. I thought you were talking to them. Were you talking to them? Oh, I was talking to you, but I should be talking <laughs> to them. Thank you so much for being here. Um, I don't know if I said this at the beginning of the video, but if you miss Nathan, just go tell him in his comment section because I'm watching y'all. There's some girls that really like Nathan. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> and thank you for being here. Oh. Go no ahead problem. and hit that like and subscribe button. Whoop, whoop, whoop. All right. All right, so that is the end. I left this video really raw because that is just my way of being. It's been really hard for us to figure out how to get me back on the channel 
now that I am allowed to be on the channel because Nathan has, every has everything so orderly and scripted and color coordinated and um, that's not how I am. So trying to fit me into his neat and tidy orderly system, you know, it's just going to be a process. Thanks so much for watching.